there is a game that has caused a lot of controversy among the Parkland victims. They're outraged by a new video game that uh, would let players play a school shooter. Uh, what exactly is going on here? The game is called Active Shooter. It is set to be released June 6th on Steam, a gaming platform owned by Valve Corp, a video game developer based in Washington State. The game was developed by Revived Games and published by a Russian company called Acid. You can see photos of the game right there. Uh, they plan to sell the game between five and $10 on the streaming platform. Uh, the game says that players can choose between uh, being a SWAT a member of a SWAT team and portraying an actual school shooter whose objective is to hunt and destroy despicable. Let uh, Steam games know games depicting active shooter scenarios in schools where players shoot civilian students and law enforcement are unacceptable. And that actually comes from Ryan Petty who lost his 14 year old daughter uh, in the, the February shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Um, let's see some other tweets of just responses from this. This is from Fred Gutenberg. Uh, this company should face the wrath of everyone who cares about school and public safety. It should start immediately. Do not buy this game for your kids or any other game made by this company. Um, and that is uh, from another father who lost his daughter in a school shooting. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other uh, tweets? This is from a Senator Bill Nelson. This is inexcusable. Any company that develops a game like this in wake of such a horrific tragedy should be ashamed of itself. Um, I, I think this is so, I, I couldn't believe that this was a real, it's so story. bad. I, I couldn't believe, it. and the imagery is just inc is incredibly disturbing. Yeah. The it, there's never going to be a right time to release a game like this, but especially in the wake of the movement that we are in right now, it feels incredibly tone deaf and just disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's, what was your response? It's bad. I'm surprised no one's really asking why is a Russian company developing this game? Yeah. Right. That's, That's very because scary. like very come sketchy. on, we, we right. like there are. There aren't school shootings in Russia. Right. They're, they're not developing this game for a Russian audience. They're mm -hmm. developing it specifically for an American audience. And like I think that's super questionable. It is. Given the climate and everything that we know that's going on between us and Russia. Right. It's, it's very sketchy. So you are a gamer, Amir. Yeah. So there are plenty of shooting games. Yeah. Um, explain why this, I mean, you shouldn't have to, but because we're talking this about it, explain bad. why this crosses such a line. Because this is literally simulating what it would be like in a school shooting. So if you have someone who is fantasizing about these things, like everyone plays video games, but like they don't go out and start shooting schools. Right. This could offer a tool for these people to go through step by step like what it might be like for them well and practice the, the game issues a disclaimer okay well all okay. all games do yeah, they say right you know that's, that's this illegal. is for mature audiences only I actually love video games too and I love first shooter games but um, I didn't know that yes grace sorry now I feel bad yeah you, you should feel bad yes I love Far Cry I love cod I you know I'll I even love Call of Duty. Grand Theft Not Auto the which I which I love but um, I don't think that games like this should be being played by younger kids, middle schoolers, even high schoolers, and especially a game like this, where this literally simulates what's happening yeah. um, almost every week here mm -hmm. in America. Um, so I don't know what the answer is necessarily, but I know it's not having a game like this out on the market, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, I, I wonder what the response will be. I guess we'll we'll have to wait and see. Like, um, like for in, there is a really famous game that they made about Columbine, for instance, and it, it was made kind of like in the way like Pokemon was like top down, like playing like that. And I played it like years ago because I was curious to see what it was. And like, even with something like that, like it's, it's so inappropriate. Yeah. You don't want to simulate something like this. You don't want to fantasize about something like this. And I, I honestly believe that the only reason that they developed this game is to inflame people in America. That's that's a that's an interesting point. It's hard for me though, and I don't play video games, so I, I don't understand this. But it's like, well, why is it this is awful? But so is simulating war, you know, and those games where you're simulating killing people in, in as an act of war. To me, as a non gamer, yeah. that's the same. It's well, it's you're I equal. Think, you're taking yeah. lives just the same. Well, that's why I think that parents need to especially be more aware of what their kids are playing. You know, like middle schoolers are literally playing games where they're, you know, in Grand Theft Auto shooting civilians. Mm -hmm. Middle schoolers should not be allowed to play games like that, in, in my opinion. Um, and that's, you know, at that time in your life, that's such a tumultuous time anyways. You don't really know who you are, you're awkward, you may not have friends, people make fun of you. It's just not a good time for, for you know, those thoughts to be bombarded in your brain. Yeah, I, I so I, I'm, as someone who grew up, playing Grand Theft Auto in middle school mm -hmm. and younger. <laughs> I think most of us come out of that totally fine, like the yeah, vast majority. Exactly. The problem right. again with something like this is that 
like you need to be able to distinguish between fantasy and, and a simulation. And I think a lot of yeah. these other games, you can make that distinction, but in this, it's purely a simulation of going and shooting on these people.